Odds are you've seen a few partial solar eclipses in your lifetime. In fact, we had an annular eclipse in 2023 and a partial solar eclipse in 2017. But a total solar eclipse? Now that is a rarity. In fact, the last time the path of a total solar eclipse passed over the area we know as San Antonio was back in 1397, 627 years ago. Think of San Antonio's history. What do you think about? Probably the Alamo and other Spanish missions. But this last total solar eclipse happened hundreds of years before the Spanish even colonized the area. So what did life look like 600 years ago in the Alamo city before the Alamo even existed? We have talked about historic Texas as having 11,000 streams. So the water would have been plentiful. A little bit different from today. We're struggling with that in drought. But water would have been plentiful. It would have been a bit greener. And these waters were sacred to the native people of what we now call San Antonio in South Texas. So today we know them as Coahuitecans. Their tribal lands were all of northeastern Mexico and South Texas. The Payaya, Papanac, Tilihai, names associated to the bands and clans of of the uh, different families that lived in the area. An incorrect narrative around the Coahuitecans is that they were hunter-gatherers aimlessly wandering around. However, what we're learning today is that it was just the opposite. It was a very high level of sophistication that just wasn't understood at the time. And it's with that level of sophistication that the Kuawi Tekkens would be experiencing the eclipse in 1397. We can speculate that it would have been a spiritual experience too because all the celestial beings were faces of God. It would have just been a moment of validation of their belief system of two becoming one. In fact, there's evidence of the Spanish using these beliefs in converting locals at Mission Concepcion. One of the frescoes up in one of the rooms shows that the two coming together, right? The sun and the moon coming together as one. It probably drew fear, it probably drew love. Every emotion that um, human beings would would have today. On April 8th, it'll be through those human emotions that we will be connected to the people who viewed a similar total solar eclipse 627 years ago.